4 o'clock advisory is down. And as expected, now that the center is pulling away from the Gulf of Mexico and starting to encounter a little more wind shear, it's also slowed down. The pressure is up to 938 millibars, which means it's still holding together remarkably well as a major hurricane right now. Winds at 130 sustained and the motion is northwest at 10. It's tracking on up through uh, the Raceland area here. It's very close to Homa and the core of the heaviest winds are, are getting very close to New Orleans. Let's check out the track on this because it's an important track and the new track just came out and as expected, this is going to be a little east of the metro area of Baton Rouge. It looks like it's going to go between Denham Springs and over towards the uh, the, the Hammond area and then it'll move on up towards Jackson in Mississippi, which will keep us very close to the circulation. Now we're in the northeast quadrant right now. That's why we're seeing these tornadoes. Tonight we'll be in the east quadrant, and then by tomorrow we'll be in the southeast quadrant, which means the tornado threat could be a little lower, although the Storm Prediction Center is still keeping us in a level two slight risk for severe weather for tomorrow. So it could be a long night for us with the potential of flooding and also the possibility of tornadoes. There is the core of the storm there. It's working on up uh, out of Terrebonne Bay now and it's getting very close to Homa, but the Lafitte area also seeing tremendous impacts potentially from this landfalling tropical system.